Hi guys, uh, my name is Ashley, I'm 21 years old and I'm studying fashion management in Toronto, Canada. Hi everyone, I'm Tina, I am 21 and I am studying psychology at USIU. Hi guys, I'm Ethan, I'm studying music at the University of Leeds in the UK. Hi, I'm Michaela, I'm 19. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> okay. Shall we get started? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, this is interesting. Um, is dating in Nairobi hard? Mm. That is techie. As everyone says it's hard. Yeah. And, and, and understandably so, because, like, for one, everyone knows each other. Yes. And, you know, I actually saw a tweet mm -hmm. um, by a friend of mine. He said, you know, um, dating Nairobi is not that bad as long as the five of you trust each other. So, <laughs> and it, that's, you know, I imagine that's a lot of people's experiences with yeah. dating in Nairobi. So I obviously, you know, I've been single day one, as I've said. <laughs> so I, you know, I've not had too much experience dating in Nairobi. Um, but, you know, I've seen, a, I've seen it happen for everyone else. And that tweet was literally, it, it was perfect. It was a, like a perfect um, analogy. Analogy. <laughs> yeah. Perf yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So that that's for me. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. I think um, the same thing. I think Nairobi is so small. Everyone knows each other. So like with going into dating, it's again it's the same thing about like I'm going into this knowing about. I know who your last girlfriend was. Mm -hmm. I know who your last hookup was. Yeah. I know like I know so much about you already going into this, and I already have these ideas about you going into this. So um, that's a downfall of like dating Nairobi. Um, and I, I don't think I've seriously dated in Nairobi since I've been back. I've been on a lot of dates, mm -hmm. but like just for good company and free food. <laughs> <laughs> But I haven't like take like seriously dated anyone since I've been here. But I do think I like as much as everyone says that oh it's really hard like this it, you can't find a person here in Nairobi. I also think it depends on like the the people you're talking like who you're talking to and the person you're talking to because like if both of you are yeah if both of you like know that this is what we want and this is how we're gonna go about it and like you're open and honest with like what you expect out of this like interaction then yeah yeah it can work out i don't think it's i feel like it's harder through like social media like social media makes it really and people sharing all the experiences about dating mm -hmm. like it also makes you think okay well i don't want to date in nairobi if this That's is what pressure. everyone is saying about yeah. it but like if you step away from it and you're like okay i'm getting to know this person as you yeah. we're not like two people dating in Nairobi. we're just two people interested in each other dating and it's like you can focus on each other and it's possible yeah yeah, yeah. i also feel like another thing just to add on when it comes to dating is that people are very shallow and i don't mean that in a bad way but mm -hmm. like when you're trying to get to know someone like what you said going on dates just a company like you want a conversation with someone and they're just so surface level and you're like okay so what mm. how are we gonna build yeah. anything if you if you don't even know how to have like the deep conversation candy deeper, yeah. exactly yeah. like the candy deeper conversation so i feel like that's another thing with dating it's just that people i guess i would say don't want to be vulnerable and willing to give of themselves but that's a bit yeah mm. yeah i don't think dating is hard anywhere at all mm. i just think it's like the quote unquote baggage that comes with it. Mm. Like I could see you, I hear how you talk, I hear how you talk about your friends and I'm like, nah, I'm not going there. Yeah. But if I knew the right people, yeah. I think it would be different. A different story. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I genuinely think it's not hard. It's just the people you know. Yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, it says, have you used a dating app before? And if so, what was your experience? I have used a dating app before. When I first like went to Canada, I was, you know, when you go abroad and like, you know, making friends, you're like, okay, yeah. I'm bored. Mm -hmm. Let me get onto a, on a dating app. So I went into Tinder. Um, thing is, Tinder, as much as they say it's a dating app, it's more of a hookup app. Yeah. It's yeah. not, people aren't on Tinder trying to find their soulmate or their significant <laughs> other. So it wasn't like, you know, having meaningful conversations. Like I went on like a few dates, so I don't think I had a bad experience on Tinder. I didn't have a bad experience. Like I went on a few dates, met some nice guys, but it was obviously not to go anywhere seriously. Yeah. Um, it was just, yeah, hookups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and I haven't tried it here in Kenya though. Mm -hmm. I had literally like the same experience yeah. when I went up to the UK. Um, you know, I was same thing. I wasn't like making friends or you know 
seeing anyone at the time. So I was like, let me just get Tinder. Yeah. And for me, you know, between girls, between guys, even it's I feel like literally it was even literally what you what you explained. It was like hunting grounds basically yeah. for like hookups. It was it's a bit it was a bit scary, actually. So um, I have had. Um, yeah, negative experiences with like people catfishing, people being needy, being greedy, being it was it was just, the vibe was just off, right? Yeah. So I've you know, I've met some nice people, you know, you eventually make friends because you just ran into so many people. Yeah. So um, yeah, and here I would say here is we can just have another episode about <laughs> the, the dating apps here in Kenya because I also haven't tried it here. Yeah. So yeah, that that was mine. I guess for me. The difference is I've tried to in Kenya yeah. and it's the bottom of the barrel if I can say that and I don't mean it in a bad way it's just no. because yeah. you have to read through so many people yeah. to meet like the one out of the ten that's or oh, one out of the 20 that's even good enough yeah. and my experience so far has been because I've been I've been I've been I've been I've been dating for a while I've been trying to not date per se but I've been going on Tinder for a while yeah. and it's it's just I don't know, it's very temporary, if I can say that, because you meet someone, you vibe for like three months, and you think that it's gonna go somewhere, and it never goes anywhere. But I guess that's also with reality, yeah. like just, yeah. that's just what happens, you know? So yeah, that's, I guess, my experience. They've, th there's a good number of people that I've met that are very lovely. There was one that I had hope with, but you know, mm -hmm. it never happened, so, yeah. Damn. <laughs> no. You never tried it? Never. Would you be willing okay. to? No. Oh. Really? Why? Because <laughs> I like meeting people in person. Naturally. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What's now? You see, I don't, I, I, I don't get the whole. I like meeting people in person because for me, why? Like initially, I went on there for curiosity, but with time, you end up meeting people from a social circle that you might never have met in your life, that's and you true. don't realize yeah, how. True. I wouldn't say impactful because that's here and there, but. You never realize the impact. Mm, no, I'm repeating myself. Can, <laughs> can we cut? <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Um, but you don't realize the value of that person that you're meeting, yeah. regardless of whether it's offline or online. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you don't have a perception of like who they are. Like you're meeting someone completely new. Because like, I feel like when you're meeting people like in person, it's always. A friend of a friend like I've heard about you from somewhere yeah. I've seen you in a yeah. social side like yeah. I know your background like I know I'm coming into this with already some preconceptions about yeah. you yeah. but like when you're with a dating app for example you don't know this person like at all you don't know their background you don't know it's kind of scary yeah mm -hmm. but like when you meet them also it's like you're learning like you're learning about them completely from step yeah one. from step yeah. one mm -hmm. so it's I like that yeah. about I dating app she's yeah. from South Africa mm -hmm. she's in the UK she travels mm -hmm. Africa so she gets a Tinder date in every country, mm. and I like her tour guide. I was like, that's cool. Yeah, that's like, nice. <laughs> Exactly, that's fine. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. That sounds fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, is sex a big part of your dating experience? I would say, yeah, I would say so, because I feel like when you're getting to know someone in the realm of dating, there's um, both an emotional and physical attraction. Mm -hmm. So I feel like at some point, it, you know, it doesn't have to be immediately. That you know, that physical attraction has to be acted upon. And mm -hmm. so I feel like, well, it also doesn't have to be, I, I guess. But in, yeah. you know, it usually is. Yeah. So I'd say, you know, um, it, 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 it does. I, yeah. that's, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Um, I feel like for me, it's more so. Is it really important in dating? I. <sighs> I don't, I wouldn't really say it's important in dating per mm. se. I just think it's important in my life and not just mm. sex in terms of like penetration, but just sexual intimacy with somebody. Mm. Because yeah. for me, if I'm getting to know someone, like the last time I was getting to know someone, it really traumatized me because we had sex and he literally just ghosted. And I was, and I was like, like there were a couple of mishaps before, but I, for me personally, I thought it was gonna, it was, would fix everything. Yeah. But after he did that, like my ability to even kiss someone I'm getting to know right now is so difficult because I think about it and I'm just like, you're gonna leave. And I know I shouldn't feel that way about it, but I just, I'd rather just say that sex is important, just mm -hmm. sexual intimacy is important in my life in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Just I, I agree with that. Yeah. I think sex is an important part of my life. Yeah. Like outside of like, cause sometimes I, I can compartmentalize relationships. So like I can be sleeping with someone that 
I know like we're sexually attracted to each other. Like our sexual chemistry is great. Our compatibility in the bedroom is great. But like you know, a person that I date outside of that, mm-hmm. and so now for me, I can, I, st- I can, I can put the two like you can separate. Yeah, I can separate the two. It's yeah. like. I, you know how you have like your whole love life and then like there's the romance, there's this dating and there's the sex. So I can have this the one person that will fit into all three categories, but like I can be dating someone first and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get to know him without the physical attra- like physical stuff and then we can see if we get into the physical stuff. Or I can just sleep with this person and we focus on just the sleeping with each other because sex in itself is a whole other, like there's a lot of discussions and like communication that like goes into building a sexual relationship also. Mm-hmm. So I'd say yes, sex is a big part of my dating experience, but sex is a big part of like my life in general. Oh. I like pleasure. Good for you because yeah. I feel like a lot of issues around dating come you know come when people don't know how to separate those things that yeah. you're saying the sexual the intimate the emotional attraction it's when true. those muddle up and people don't know how to deal with not having to separate them it's where things just go downhill yeah, yeah. i think that's where the problems arise 100 yeah. percent. Mm-hmm. it's really important to like know what you're going like within a relationship with a person like both of you know what your intentions with this are it's like okay i'm getting to know and you discuss these things like before like on your first date i think these are things that you should discuss like Mm -hmm. what are you looking for like going into this am i like are you looking for a girlfriend a boyfriend are you looking for someone to like just hook up with are you Mm -hmm. looking for like a fling like those are discussions you need to have beforehand but yeah sex is because a lot of people shy away from those conversations yeah, on the first true. date and I'm yeah. like have the conversation then or if not the first date at least within a couple of stages. weeks after yeah. the exactly the early stages so that you know what you're getting yourself have involved in and so yeah. you can mm-hmm. also like secure your peace of mind and secure yourself and your body so you don't go into a situation that will just hurt yeah. you yeah. or yeah. drain you emotionally because you don't want that for yourself you know yeah yeah and I get, I, for me personally, I feel like also um, recently I've been more focused on like the sexual part. A, I also don't stay here. Like, mm-hmm. I, like yeah. I'm here for a short period of time and then like I'm going somewhere else. So it's like building a deeper relationship. Mm-hmm. It's like I have to think of like about it. I'm like, am I, do I really want to do this? So I've been focusing more on like the sexual part. And now for me personally, I've learned how to separate the two like i can sleep with you and not have an emotional tie and that doesn't mean that we're not having great sex it's yeah. just like i yeah <laughs> like yeah. You, you're for this is our purpose like we relate to each other like this <laughs> exactly <laughs> and we keep pushing yeah. yeah i'm the opposite i'm asexual mm. uh-huh. yeah. i don't think it's necessary mm. i can do without it mm-hmm. i would love if i had an sexual partner yeah but it's hard but i don't I don't really think it's necessary because mm-hmm. I think I can live without sex. Yeah. I think I can live without the sexual intimacy it comes with. Yeah. But then I have, if I have a partner who's like, has a sex drive, yeah. I have to cater to my partner. Yeah. It needs to be done. And yeah. I, it would be really selfish of me to let my partner go dry because, yeah, he'd cheat. But <laughs> Wait, no, you have to. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Like, no, it's not, it's not have to because he... Excuse me, he has to understand me too. (laughs) Yeah. I feel like that's why I said I would prefer to have an asexual partner. Mm -hmm. But I think it's like hard. I've never met an asexual male. Yeah. 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 But like if I would, I'd go for that because like I like the sound of it. Mm -hmm. And there's no pressure. Yeah. Okay. This is a kind, I have a question. It's a kind of a personal question. But like, have you had like a sexual experience that you've enjoyed? Yes, I have. Oh, so you, you can enjoy like sexual experience? Yes, you can. But you just, I, it's not necessary. Just, yeah, mm-hmm. people ask this. I don't have low libido. Mm-hmm. I do not have a disease that makes me... I just can it's go without thing, yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not the first thing. Oh, my friend says, like, when you look at someone and you're like deep, quote unquote, like deep love with them and you're like, want to enjoy, I don't. Yeah. Okay. I crave other things i crave the connection i crave communication i crave yeah like other it's more psychological to me than it is physical yeah okay i also have a question um Uh would you mind opening up the relationship just so that he can seek the sex I, I just (laughs) 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 (laughs)
I think I'd rather be single then. If, <laughs> oh, if, that's if, fine. If, yeah. It's you're doing yeah. you. Yeah. 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 And if that's a standard for you, exactly. then you shouldn't have I to. would never. <laughs> okay. I kind of differ there, but it's okay. No, because I feel like if he... Because to me, it's cheating. But you're opening up the relationship with boundaries and set communication with you and your partner. So is it really cheating if you've had the conversation with a person and told him, I'm allowing you to go fulfill your sexual needs elsewhere because I am not able to offer you that and I don't feel comfortable being able to offer you that as often as you desire for it. It would be great if someone was able to do that, but I don't. Fair. My mm -hmm. personal yeah, boundaries yeah. are like stretched from like, if you want this and if you need it, please oh, let me okay. know. I will help you there. But I don't, mm. yeah. yeah, I feel okay. like that's okay. stretched. Yeah, like, yeah. Mm. okay, no, 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 that's fine. Mm. All right, all right, okay. At least you know that, so that yeah. it's, it, it doesn't fumble anything in the future. Yeah, and I'll make it clear. Yeah. 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 That's nice, all right. Communication. Comprehension. <laughs> Comprehension, <laughs> <Yes>. understanding. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> all of them. <laughs>